Capricorn, hello, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. And if you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with spirit and I, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. Now, Capricorn, if you're interested in even more empath energy, check out my husband. You will love him. He gives such practical, easy to understand messages and guidance from spirit that truly helps all of us empaths thrive here. His information will be down below as well. But without further ado, let us dive right in. So we have the Hermit, we have the Page of Swords, the Queen of Wands, Three of Wands, and the Two of Wands. So I can see that you're in a bit of a decision uh, right now. And I feel like, you know, you're kind of going back and forth about what you need to do and about the, the, the dilemma or the energy that you're currently in. Understand that you have to, have to Capricorn, at this time, you got to spend some time with yourself, only yourself. And I'm talking for like some time okay not just like five minutes 15 minutes you got to go and and, and and walk in a park by yourself okay you got to go and, and 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 just be by yourself for a little bit because that's when the answers are going to come that's when the clarity is going to come that's when you're going to be able to know what you need to do to move forward take action and ultimately get the results you're looking for but right now i feel like you are just um you know you're one foot in and one foot out you know what I mean? And that kind of energy, that's not going to get us the results. Right now, we need you to get results because the universe is saying that everything that you want is right here for the taking. And it's actually, you know, you're going to be led to a very marvelous new beginning moving forward here. OK, but right now, again, I feel like, you know, it's, it's that energy of one foot in and one foot out. And action definitely needs to be taken, but it needs to be inspired action. You know what I mean? It has to come from a place of inspiration, right? Not just, I think I should do this. I should be doing this. I'm going to do it. I should do this. It's like, well, you can if you want, but you might just be, you know, chasing your own tail a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And in order to avoid that, just take some time with yourself. You know what I mean? Uh, take as much time as you need. I have a park that's near my house. Look at that. Four of Swords confirming that. I have a park that's near my house. It's like my sanctuary. Literally, I will just put on my headphones. I will um, maybe play some meditation music as I walk or maybe some like lo-fi beats, I think it's called. L-O-F-I beats. And, um, you know, just no... You know, words hold vibration. So if we listen to words, you ever notice that? If you ever listen to sad songs or you listen to any type of words, that all holds vibration. And so uh, I, I'm pretty mindful of that when I'm trying to, you know, be in my own wisdom. Uh, you want to be mindful about what you're listening to, okay? So just a heads up about that. Um, because you are going to get the answers. You are going to get the clarity you need when you do so, right? When you just take time out from the world, um, you are going to have the, um, you know, you, it, it's going to be your guides coming through, okay? Your guides are going to be able to reach you. But there's too much first of all when we're in walls there's too much stimulation because the walls everything holds energy and the walls hold they keep the energy in right almost like caging in a tiger you ever seen a tiger at the zoo how it's going back and forth like that you know it's caged in that's like us we are meant to be out and free and moving and grooving and being in nature right and so when we're not you know we feel suffocated a little bit especially when we have a decision we need to make so get out in nature walk around feel the air you know smell the air uh, you know talk with the trees you know trees have a lot of wisdom and that is what's going to what you're going to need to be able to push you forward give you the clarity that you need to get you the outcome that you're desiring because i can see here with the 10 of pentacles that the desire the outcome you want is success financial security and uh, overall happiness and a, um a, 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 uh community but 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 a sense of um a sense of family community in a sense too like i feel like you want to take care of your family i feel like you want to be the provider i feel like you want this to really work i feel like you want to um feel proud i feel like you want to make people proud and i feel like this is um this is all achievable if you just take a little bit of space for yourself okay uh you're, you're not going to disappoint nobody by taking as much time as you need right and 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 that's truly when the answers do to come um because the universe is definitely guiding you towards this outcome and I feel like the only thing that's happening right now is a little bit of resistance on your part um, and that's all right that's completely normal but a, a resistance comes from change uh, from fear of change or um, the, you know doing something new in our lives whenever we're doing something new we're uncertain about the outcome and so then we create this fear. And what happens then is what's really happening is we have this certain level of expectation we've put upon the outcome. If it, it's got to go just like this. If it doesn't go like this, this person expects this, this, this environment, this, this situation has got to go like this. Otherwise, you know, we have a, but otherwise, you know what I mean? But it doesn't work like that. When we place expectation 
then what happens is when things, the reason why humans don't feel happy is because they expect things to go a, a certain way or they place this level of expectation on something, uh, but it's gotta be through their way. You know, they don't, they're not guided. It's what their mind creates. And when our minds get disappointed, it's like all of a sudden we're not worthy or, you know, uh, you know, something's wrong. <laughs> you know, our life, everything's, uh, the universe doesn't love me. You know what I mean? And it's just, it doesn't work like that. It's just maybe perhaps we put too much expectation on something or somebody and at the end of the day we can only do the best we can only be guided into where we need to go you know what i mean and and from a soul to soul level if you express that to anybody or anything they will understand you know what i mean as long as it's coming from a soul um, perspective okay because understand that you take some time out you check in with your spirit you know you get the clarity you take some action steps you release that that pressure you release this expectation you remind yourself i am doing the best that i can i am doing the best that i can spirit is guiding me i'm not even in the driver's seat spirit is guiding me okay spirit's guiding me doing the best i can okay that is what is going to allow the resistance to go and when this happens that is when you are going to uh, capitalize on the benefits that spirit has in, uh, in store for you because here we have the fool and the page of cups it means there is going to be a new beginning a new energy of some kind that's really going to fulfill your spirit really going to fulfill your soul and right now this has not been able to materialize um, because there is just still a little bit of resistance but again remember if you just keep it going and then you just spend that time with yourself cap you are going to end up where you need to go okay but again reduce that pressure remember this is <laughs> remind yourself that release release this need to have the answers release this need to be right to be have it to to get your way you know what i mean release that because at the end of the day that's holding you back what you need to do is remind yourself i am being guided through a, a higher source that is much greater than me right it's like it's like you're standing at the bottom of the mountain and your heart and your spirit guides and your higher self is at the top of the mountain. And they're like, hey, Capricorn, you should take a left because there's gonna be a giant grizzly bear that you're gonna run into if you keep going straight. And yourself down here, if it doesn't listen, it's like, I know what I'm doing. This is the fastest way. And you go and then you get eaten by the grizzly bear, okay? But instead, if you're like, hmm, that's weird. I'm kind of getting this like feeling that I should go left, even though it makes no sense and it's gonna be longer. You know what, I'm gonna listen because you know my intuition my higher self my guides you know they can see they can see what I cannot see right and you go left and you make your way and you don't get eaten by a grizzly bear so one of those right it's one of those so just follow your intuition and the only way you're gonna be able to feel your intuition is if you get yourself grounded and you are out in nature okay and you walk around, do some movement, right? You're never gonna be able to think your way through anything. You gotta feel your way. And the only way you're gonna be able to feel your way is if you clear energy, move your body, you're out of your thinking state, and you're more in your physical state, okay? Because um, I can see here that everything is going really, really well. Because here we have beaver spirit and we have rabbit spirit, just validating that right now you're exactly where you need to be. You're building the foundation, you're learning the what you need to learn, you're implementing the action steps, and it's going to, it's going to pan out for you, okay? It is going to prevail. So you've just got to keep it moving forward. You've just got to find ways to get yourself centered. Remember, Cap, there's going to be ups and there's going to be downs. We all go through ups and downs. We all go through good days and bad days. Doesn't mean matter how connected you are to spirit. We all go through the bad days, okay? But it's not about the adversity. It's about how fast can you get yourself back to center? How fast can you get yourself grounded? How fast can you overcome that adversity? And you're not going to be able to do it overstimulated, overthinking. You're just going to be freaking out and making all these bad decisions, right? So find a way to get yourself grounded have three things that you can fall back on for me it's going for a walk in nature for me it's movement of any kind and it's meditation every time this will bring myself back to center and i'll be like okay i'm okay what's next all right so this is what's happening how can i get myself out of this you know what i mean what comes next you know what i mean have that in your arsenal figure out what you can autopilot right sometimes i don't even think i'm just like i'm in an ungrounded state i don't feel like doing anything i'm tired i'm sick i, I feel i feel flushed i feel nauseous you know what i do first thing i do i grab my running shoes i throw them on and i get out of my house get out of the walls because it's that's going to be the number one thing okay and Right now, I feel like you're just in a time where you want to be present and aware of what's going on because universe is saying, look, you're healing. You know what I mean? You're going through some, some, you know, adversity. You're going through some emotions right now. You're overcoming certain shadows, right? Certain shadow aspects of you. If when you heal these shadow aspects, 
that is when the um, the 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 higher level of awareness comes. This is when you uh, require, or excuse me, when you um, accept more lessons to come forward. When you're not accept more lessons, but when you when you learn more lessons and when you accept more from the universe, because the universe can only give us what we're ready for. And you utilize this time Capricorn as like training ground, right? If there's adversity going on in your life, look at this as training. Just this morning, some lady was, um, you know, in a, a, a very ungrounded, very unbalanced state and, um, you know, thought that I had my headphones in and she, uh, I guess, said some nasty things under her breath that I heard because I guess I was in her way. And, um, you know, I felt the flush. You know what it feels like as an empath? When someone throws heat at you, your face flushes, your chest pounds, you feel sick, you get all this heat, right? You feel like, you almost feel like that. That's what I felt. But because I was grounded and because I was aware, I breathed through it. And I was like, okay, this is just heat being thrown at me. She's very ungrounded, uh, you know, sending her love and, um, you know, but don't take it. You know what I mean? And that, that is what healing is, right? So whenever we have those emotions, whenever we have those <gasps> moments, know that it's an opportunity to be aware of it, heal from it. You know what I mean? Use it for fuel, but don't, don't wear it as your own. Don't take on adversity in your life as, as your own. Breathe through it, get yourself grounded and know that you will always be on your path, okay? I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you, Capricorn. Spirit loves you so much. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.